Hello everyone, welcome to Sanology. I am Sanaz and today I want to show you how to make a creme gel with retinol. I had a video in my channel talking about retinol and some kind of tips and tricks if you want to formulate with this ingredient. Um, I also talk about the advantage of using retinol in your skincare, um, but I didn't show any detail on the formulation or didn't show you the percentage of the ingredient that I use in my formula. In this video, I want to show you the detail of the formulation. I also want to show you how to calculate the percentage of retinol based on your resources. And um, the formula is almost the same like the old one. The only ingredient that they add to this formulation is resveratrol, which is a great antioxidant. If you don't have it, no worries. You can just replace it with water. There is no difference in, on the final texture. Um, so let's make it. Okay, starting with a resveratrol phase. Uh, we need to dissolve it or dispare it in something so we dispare it in glycerin the effect of resveratrol in our skin is working as anti-wrinkle anti um, it's tyrosinase inhibition and skin firming collagen synthesized anti-inflammatory and it is non-animal derived ingredient so i use it in my formulation based on the recommendation of the risk of the sources as 0.5 percent and i dispare it in glycerin because it's not this one is not water soluble ingredient so you need to um, be sure that it's completely dispersed inside glycerin and um, after um, dispersing inside uh, you can have a creamy form of um, texture after that you dissolve all the resveratrol inside the glycerin So now it starts with uh, something like a water phase. So I start to uh, dissolve allantoin inside our water phase. So I use 0.5% uh, of allantoin in my formulation and I add 71.5% seven, of water in the formulation. And definitely to dissolve allantoin, we need to warm up the water because it will not um, have a we will not have a clear solution at the end so i use something like a band mari put it put our beaker in the hot water and uh, try to uh, dissolve onto inside this formulation And I decided to use my small mixer to find out a very clear solution and it was much more faster. Then I add pantanol in my formulation and it is 2% in this formula. Then I add propanediol 1 to 3 and it is 10% in this formulation. Then copper copper triglyceride all in um, olive and 300 as an emollient in my formulation and it is 2% in this formula. Then I add uh, chamomile extract. It is 2% in my formulation. And it's better to have this one in your formula when you formulate something with retinol because this one works as anti-irritating agent in our formulation. Then I add mixed trocopherol in my formulation and mixed trocopherol is 1% in the formulation and it works as antioxidant. It will help us to have a very stable solution. Mm -hmm. 
Then I add a um, silicone stir, 2% in my formulation. It will help us to have not very tacky uh, formula and uh, definitely preserve it because we have water in our formulation and I use liquid Gemma Plus 4.5% and mix everything together. Then I add my retinol. I have this retinol from Formulator Sample Shop and they mentioned that there is 10% retinol in my formulation. So when I add 3% of this, formula, this ingredient in my formulation, I will have 0.3% final um, percentage of retinol in my formulation. So please check your resources. If you are using the 13 oil, definitely you have to go with a very, very lower percentage, something like point, um, 0, 0.0 something or 0 0.02 or 3. And then um, that's the time to add our ingredients to our respirator phase and mix everything together. Now I'm using my emulsifier and also thickener. I use Aritoflex ABC and this one coming in my formulation in one person. This one give us a very lightweight and um, lotion-y form of uh, the formula, something like a serum type or a very light creme gel. Okay, it's better to cover your uh, formulation and let it rest for the night. Um, I definitely like to write down the name of the products uh, or the name of the final product on the uh, top of the beaker because I have lots of things in my workshop. I don't want to mix the, uh, the formulation together. And I open the lid um, um, actually the first hours of the night, mix it together and again change the lid. And the day after, again, I mix everything together. I use my small mixer and then this uh, texture is the final texture for um, our product, which is really lightweight creme gel. The most important thing to formulating with retinol um, is um, checking the pH. So the really good pH for this kind of formulations are 5.5 or something around 5.5 to 6. And if it is not something like 5.5, we need to uh, lower down the pH and uh, it's better to use 10% of your formulation to check the pH. And then I uh, package this in formulation in the airless pumps and as you can see uh, this is our final uh, formulation that I show you the spreadsheet. You can snapshot from this formula and you have all the details in your hand. And let me show you um, that how is the final texture and as you can see we have a very lightweight creme gel that would absorb very fast on your skin it doesn't have any greasy or tacky feeling so thank you so much for watching this video and enjoy <music>